A report of new pictures now surfacing in the Ahmad Arbery investigation. He was shot and killed in February. His family says he was jogging in a Brunswick neighborhood. Gregory and Travis McMichael, a son and father charged with murder. Investigators say they followed, then shot Arbery. Now a UK publication is reporting a McMichael family member posted a photo of Ahmad Arbery's body on Snapchat after his death. Joe Henke has the latest. The video of Ahmad Arbery along with Gregory and Travis McMichael is from a Brunswick neighborhood on February 23rd when Arbery was shot and killed. It went on social media earlier this month. It quickly went viral. Now today at a press conference held by the Atlanta NAACP, the conversation turned to how there are even more images and videos from that same day. We recently found out that another family member posted the dead, bloody body of Ahmad Arbery on Snapchat. The photo discussed during an Atlanta NAACP press conference was first reported in the UK tabloid The Sun. The report details the daughter and sister of Gregory and Travis McMichael posting a photo showing Ahmad Arbery's body after the shooting in Brunswick's Satilla Shores neighborhood. The report quoted Lindsay McMichael saying she had no malicious intent and adding, the thing is, I'm a huge fan of true crime. I listen to four or five podcasts a week. I'm constantly watching that sort of thing. It was absolutely poor judgment. Benjamin Crump, one of several attorneys representing the Arbery family, tweeted absolutely disgusted. Just because you are a true crime fan does not give you any right to expose this disturbing image of Ahmad Arbery after he was murdered by your father and brother. He is not a trophy animal to be showcased. Gregory and Travis McMichael remain in jail and are still the only ones charged in Arbery's murder and the confrontation. Attorneys for the McMichaels previously said there are other videos showing what happened on February 23rd beyond this well-known cell phone video. An Arbery family attorney at today's NAACP press conference provided a bit more detail. Yes, there are additional videos that show a greater portion of the pursuit. Uh, uh, according to the timeline, the police reports and the video evidence that exists, we know that uh, this went on for a lot longer than those 38 seconds that have been have, have gone viral at this point. And you will find more on this developing story on our 11 Alive app, including why the NAACP Atlanta is now calling for an investigation into two Georgia counties connected to the Arbery case.